Tehan and the Chani were sitting at dining table getting ready to eat lunch while Jungkook stood beside Tehan maintaining his posture. Hyungi eat with us. Tehangi ordered the elder but Jungkook didn't bother. He was on duty and didn't want to do something that was not allowed again. And find his royal highness. He replied the hung power and the potter to get at him. I think my bodyguard has the order city to deny a role not only once but twice. The hung threw his last card. He was aware that the elder was loyal to his duty and could never in a million years think of defeating the order of role that would be considered since the jungle jungle planet by me in front of the hung made lights. Me before I defeat your other his royal highness, the hound didn't like it at all. He told his heart to watching the edges me in front of him. You just defeat my other me. That's until it's what the hound said, and you are not allowed to me in front of me or anyone else, and it's an order. He added, Jango felt his heart warm at such a sentence, and something struck the hound's mind where there is a get to on your knee once more time in whole life that too only in front of me the hung said smiling while showing his teeth jungkook was confused by the weird order he stood up with a confused form of his face jenny was switching to do the sharp eye he looks at jungkook confused face and muttered under her feet this dance shaking her head in disappointment Now come see the hand that it has with me again. Chango told you up and said only then did he realize how close the prince and he was sitting. So close that the prince's legs were touching Chango. Chango immediately tried to feel distance but he kept the hand wrapped around his feet pulling him towards the prince. Don't you dare move the hand to your head. But there him pointing. Spoke at him with one hand while the other hand was on the elder bike. Jungkook breathed out a heavy breath and started eating with his hand. He couldn't believe that he was touching royalty. He considered it a sin, according to him, the royals were untouchable and should be respected. In his view, touching the hand was a Respect to the prince, but he couldn't do anything. This cute prince was stubborn. Jenny watching the whole scene un- unfold in front of her with question eyes while eating. She observed from the way the prince glared at the elder and then suddenly got silent and looked away. She could only come to one conclusion, and her eyes shut up when she did the target one. My God! She suddenly shouted. Causing both Tehang and Jungkook to flinch, are you okay, baby? Jungkook cried wildly, and Tehang sort of slowly flew to the sky. Immediately, blood rushed to his cheeks and neck. Panic in baby Jungkook asked again when he received no reaction from the younger. Oh yes, Youngi, I am good. Tehang assured while looking everywhere but at him. Um, no, no, what happened to you? Tehang asked her to divert his mind for that baby word. Tehang was. Bold and confident, uh, only until Jungkook did something, and then all of the hounds told me went to out of the window, leaving him only sad. Oh, nothing, my prince. I just remember something. Nothing important. The lunch went like this. I need to rush the restroom. The hounds said to Jenny, "Follow to my prince." Jenny said, "Jungkook started following them. Are you going to follow his highness to the restroom too?" Jenny asked Jungkook seriously. Jungkook just turned pink along with his ears. No, he shuddered and to the other side, embarrassed. Jenny looked at the prince just to see his cheeks. Mm, Let's go, Nona. He said while pinching his ear. A habit he was when embarrassed or nervous. They both entered a cute room and Jenny showed him an attached bathroom. I will be on the. Balcony, my prince," she said. "They have come out the restroom to find no one in the room. He sighs around, rumor around, and he noticed something of his feet led him to Jenny's desk. He picked up a 
Katie, his lips spoke. He put it down to see a photo frame on the table. He took it to see clearly, but his hand trembled looking at the photo. His heart reached tears filled his eyes, and his leg lost all strength without his knowledge. Tears started rolling down his cheeks. My prince, Jenny called the younger, just to see the prince crying slightly. My prince, what happened? Jenny asked. Panking, no, I, I, I am fine, Thang said in a shattered voice, grabbing his lip between his teeth to stop himself from crying. My prince, are you definitely not fine? Jenny said wildly. She saw a photo frame in the hand of the younger. My prince, I am sorry to, to look at you personal things, Thang said hesitantly and put the frame down. I am sorry again, the prince said, feeling guilty. My prince is not. Uh, Something you shouldn't see. Jenny said, try to console. Console him. You should have told me, Nona, that you and him are dating so that I would have given you both some personal time. Oh. I have been a third while this whole about me. I would not have made advance on him. I even told him to call me baby. I'm so sorry, Nona. I don't want to come in between you both. The hung tears continuously rolling down his cheeks. He felt like a vamp of a melody drama. You are misunderstanding, my prince. Jenny tried to make him understood. No, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Please, I beg your pardon. The hung started again. He is my brother, my prince. Jenny said while holding the younger's arms. The hung eyes shut up, looking at the editor immediately, asking her as if what she was saying was the truth. Yes, my prince, he is my brother, my younger brother, she said, assuring the younger, not expecting Tehang to break down again. He launched himself onto the elder and hugged her. Tehang cried this time, but in satisfaction, I am so relieved, he said between his soap. I thought I lost him. I thought all those years of years were wasted. No, no, thank you, thank you so much. Jenny patted his head and come down soon at the show stop jenny look at him do you like my brother this much jenny asks while patting his head thang just nodded his head like a little kid i hope my jerk of a brother soon understood this she said while breathing out don't call him a jerk no no thang complaining pouting hmm Already so protective of your hungi, I see my brother-in-law, Jenny. Chakal Tehong's heart beat. Quickly, he put his hand on his cheek to stop himself from blessing. Jenny, looking at the adorable prince, let's go. His highness, bodyguard's less future husband is waiting. She said no more. Tehong while blessing him still on his cheeks, Jenny was having the best time of her life, teaching the little prince. They both made their way to the living area, where Jungle was waiting of the prince. When he saw the prince, he stood up quickly from the sofa in his great position. But his eyes fell on the poor eyes on the younger. He ran to the younger. What happened, baby? He asked the younger, quietly, looking at the younger eyes. And they hung forward to breathe. Hmm. Jenny interpreted it that you, they both looked away. Jenny, with hey, Jenny, her eyebrow at the hung. I uh, some dust particles got into my eyes, Hindi. They have made up a lie. Chanko was not a fool but to buy it, but he didn't say anything. He know. He can get the truth from his sister. 
with the third person lady at seven hands Jenny was advising the mates of the third kings as tonight is the biggest event of the year. It's an amazing birthday and a love is organized like every year. Hindi, which color suit I wear? Kahan asked his two cards with his demanding eyes, standing in his trial chamber. The fashion designer was standing with a bundle of clothes. Chanko played music at such a question. The pain does know how to the guest in front of people the prince wanted to wear something of his choice are you kidding me when does he become this important to choose what the prince will wear everything will look good on you he said and he stopped mid sentence everything looking good chanko looked around everyone standing there fashion designer with color in her hand hair dresser with the uh, hair stationer in his hand makeup artist with makeup brushes in her hand mates uh, standing there all looking at him with bright curious eyes then he continued you prince chanko completed the same his sentence clothes formed from uh, designer's hand stationer for headed with smoke protecting from his makeup process long one were found on the floor made size sort of open everyone's eyes were big as so chanko noticed all of this felt weird and clear his thought all of them came out of their freezing state designer collected the cloth hair dresser flowed out of the heat of the state nerve while facing a neck Casting under his breath, makeup artist collected her brush from the floor and mates continue what they were doing and uh, talking about the prince. Well, and Alpa was sitting in place in a prince. It felt his cheeks uh, along with the tip of his ear and neck. He put his finger on his ear to stop them from hitting again all his candy. confidence all long gone leaving him all weak and sad i rushed from the room somehow made out a sentence and then out of the room his heart beat quickly he could not hold back a sigh smile that spread on his cheeks he ran outside to office the chamber didn't know where to go he stopped at the pillow of the Lobby put his head on the pillow, breathing out heavily. He put his hand on the heart that was breathing loudly, like no tomorrow you will be the death of me. Chanko lied. Hungry as well, he said barely above a whisper, desperately. Ahem, it's my little brother saying. A sound was hearing near his head. Hung Tahang said. spoon around and hug his brother his crown prince he is like a father finger of the hung from that time the king was the affair namjoon to call the responsibility on his shoulders be it the kingdom or his home what happened to our little prince taking along to himself namjoon inquired while putting the head of the prince hung What if I say the hung said while hugging his brother? Continue, Bunny. You know you can share anything with your hung, right? Namjoon assured. Hung, may I, uh, may I help set my eyes on someone? The prince breathed out. I love someone, hung. The hung said barely, but a whisper feeling he couldn't keep his feeling in his heart anymore. Namjoon frozen at the spot, but then started patting his head. Didn't speak a word. He may have an idea who that person may be. Tehun felt relieved when he got a pat on his head. His brother is a man of few words, but his head son speaks louder than anything else. Tehun came to his chamber again. His bodyguard was found nowhere. Where is Hyungi? Tehun asked the, the 
Anjuma, standing in the chamber, he went to get ready. Your royal highness, she said sweetly. Tehanu smiled, looking at her. You, your royal highness, this is the dress chosen the fashion designer informed by him. Tehanu asked an anticipated sign. Your body cut, your royal highness. Tehanu felt like he is on cloud nine. He saw the dress that was green in color. It was an his youngest choice is the first. Then he stands there on the star and light of the boy. He takes deep breath. All the eyes in the hair anticipated his arrival. He was the last girl to arrive. No, by the name of the prince to exist. Everyone was waiting to get a chance to see his face in person. Everyone. Wonder in the princess, pretty as in the picture on the internet. Seeing all eyes on him, his anxious increases in dim light. He could still see the face of people. His eye roamed in search of the person he wanted to see. He observed the heart but didn't find him. His love honey. Stay forward, everyone is expecting you. A lady, his personal maid, spoke. He looked at her. I am waiting for Hyungi to arrive. He said, just ever a whisper. Tehangi took his time to get ready. He wants his Hyungi to see him first. He was adorned in clean colored dress, pants, neck, and round. With a pretty necklace here with guns, his head was on by a shining crown, his legs trembling in anticipation. Suddenly, the door of the hall opened, and the hounds are looked at the entrance to see a, of a person. The person entered the hall, and the dim lights lit up his face. The face the hound was hearing to see. I meet and magic happened. The hound's heart did and he stopped down the stair. The prince who was seen by everyone now, his beautiful face was on display. Gaps could be here. The prince attended he, this ball after 16 years. But now the prince didn't go anxious because he was too all of the eyes of the bodyguard. It felt like there was again an eight year old kid, some embarrassment, some same place and same eyes. They were the same eyes that looked at the home, the same way they were looking at him 16 years ago. 16 years ago, a small prince was walking down the stair with his personal mate that he called Anjuma, the small child, grown and as his eyes are poopy, chubby, cheeks pink, his button nose red, it was colored. That the baby prince cried a lot. He looked everywhere in the hall and his eyes turned on a boy, maybe three, four years older than him. He was looking at the prince with corner. He was standing with the prince. The prince kept looking at that boy with the powder. Him sniffing the boy waved at the prince, smiling at the baby. The boy made funny face for the prince so that he re- removed the distance from the eye of the people in the ball and it forgot. The prince soon started giggling while walking towards the crowd. His brothers waited for the prince to come to him, but the prince made his way towards the boy. Who are you? The prince asked the boy with his innocent eyes. I am Jungkook, my prince, the boy said while smiling. Jungkook Ki Hyung, the prince repeated the name for himself while pouting. I am Tehangi, the prince introduced himself showing his teeth. I know, my prince, the boy replied. How can you know me when I don't know you? The little prince asked. Jungkook with confused eyes and about now you know me, Jungkook said you are smiling right. The hand showed his smile, his large highness. Would you like to go to the second prince?
the maid asked. No, wanna stay with Pookie him, the prince denied going to the second prince. Hyungi, why are you holding hand with Thaima, Uncle? Because he is my dad, Jungkook said while smiling. The little prince looked at his hand. He whispered, Dad, looking at his hand. I also want a whole hand. The prince demanded. Jungkook removed his hand from his dad and extended his hand towards the prince. The prince took his hand and held it. Jungkook interpreted his finger with the prince's palm. Thangong whispered. Looking at the intervening hand, I want a whole hand forever. Thangong demanded. I will forever. Chanko promised. Will you go to the garden with me? Thangong asked the elder with his innocent eyes. Chanko nodded. They both held hand and they ran to the garden. Hungry. I love you this feast. Thangong said, pointing towards the piece in the Pond. Chungko could see his and Thahong's reflection in the pond with the moon above them. He looked at the prince. You are so pretty, Thay. He said the little Thay smile at himself, unable to hold his smile. He looked down and grabbed his lips between his teeth to stop smiling. Chonko extended his hand and took the lips of the young girl out from the teeth. Don't bite, it will bleed, Chonko said with concern. They both looked at each other in silence. Why were you crying, my prince? Chonko asked, missing Mama. The hung waited out. His mom mood again became so for tears on a fallen don't cry my friends chanko said look i also don't help mom but i am not crying chanko said why the hand repeated the handsome boy in front of him funnel become strong like him the hand said by parting you don't have to be strong the hand it's okay to be weak i will be strong for you and protect you Jungkook said, being serious, Hyungi, will protect me? Tehangi asked, yes, I will protect you. He replied, it's okay to miss her royal highness, but don't cry so much that your eyes hurt, okay? Jungkook said, Tehang nodded. Hyungi, eyes hurting. Tehangi complaining. Jungkook finished his fingers and put them on Tehang's eyes when the cold finger lie on the hungry eyes he felt relieved is it still hurting chunk asked the younger the hung shook his head and it is the best he added while smiling while chunk admired the little prince the prince and chunk were sitting on their pin and missing dada the hung complaining with the power then we can go and meet his royal highness, Chonko suggested, but Tada doesn't talk to me. He is mad at me, Tang said sadly. Nobody. He is not mad at you. Nobody can be mad at you. He is sleeping because he needs rest as he is tired of taking care of the kingdom along for years. He can listen to everything you say and he will answer all of your question when he wake up the hung was waiting in his chamber for his hungi it has been three months since their friendship began anjuma when will hungi arrive he asked his maid wait a little his royal highness he must be on his way the chunk called the younger while entering the chamber hungi Tehang ran to help the elder. The elder embarrassed him, missing Hyungi. Tehang said while still hugging the elder, I miss Thay too. Chungkook said by patting the head of the younger, why didn't you come yesterday, Hyungi? The younger complaining cutely while 
from the elder. It was my auntie's wedding. I went there, Jungkook, and found the little prince's wedding. The prince asked Emma, let me explain. Jungkook thought for a while and then answered, when two people love each other so much that they can't stay away from each other, they marry and stay together forever. And uh, every like her highness and his mistress. And then God gives them a baby as a gift like you. Jungkook said, sharing whatever he knew about marriage. Oh, the hungry lips from on. Oh, then Thay and Hyungi will marry and God will give us baby too. The hungry said while well, smiling. They can't stay away from Hyungi. He added Hyungi can't stay away from Thay too. Jungkook said smile and, and petting the head of the younger. So will Hyungi marry Thay? The hungry asked with curious eyes, Yes, I will marry you. He admitted they both smiled suddenly. The hung found the panic, but Hyungi, I am I am a boy. I have to be a girl to marry you like Mama and Dada. Chanko the hungry said tears from in his eyes. I will marry you, whatever you are a boy or a girl, Chanko said with Honestly, Tehang smiled widely. Somehow he is smiling. Hungi. Who is Te to you? Tehangi asked. Te is my heartbeat. Chanko answered while smiling. Looking at the little boy, it's been six months since they first met. Tehang and Chanko were playing in the garden when Chanko heard a scream from the younger. What happened? Tell Chanko asked. The baby prince visible worried Hyungi spider. The hungry ran and hugged the elder. Don't be afraid, the Hyungi is here. Hyungi will protect you. Jungkook assured the younger. Jungkook ki both the boy flinch at the harsh tone of a man's voice. They both parted and saw Jungkook dead in front of them. How dare you to touch the prince? He is called his son, Dad. Jungkook tried to say something but uh, was cut up by the angry prince. Don't scold my hungry uncle. The prince stood in front of the elder protectively. Thought he had difference was such that the baby prince had couldn't even reach the elder's shoulder. His royal highness, I beg your pardon. John, Chango, follow me. He ordered his son, Tahong, and uh, Chango look at, uh, at each other before Chango left. He fell without, he left without a hug, and Tahong felt very sad. He pouted and looked at the finger of the elder. Are you crazy, Chango? How can you dare to touch his royal highness, Jungkook dad called it his son. They were standing in Jungkook's room. Jungkook standing with his head. Donkey down, my son, we are supposed to be salad of royals. We have to protect them without getting close to them. His royal highness is untouchable. He can't be your friend. His dad advised him. Jungkook eyes were silenced here. I, I hold finger for the prince dad. Jungkook told him father. While his head was still looking down, tears rolling down his cheeks. His father gaps held his son arms and so he don't dream of such things, Jungkook. You can't have feelings for a girl. You can't. This can't happen, my son. Stop everything now. His father advised him. He didn't want to behave like this with his son. He was a very supportive parent, but this was something that couldn't happen in a million years. His father was afraid of his son heartbroken. Before anything was done, he wanted to stop his son. I hope you understood this. 
my baby he said breathing out he took a step to the door of the room but stopped you are going to glen next week chungko you will continue your study there he announced and left the room leaving a broken 12 year old boy behind chungko went to his bed and cried and cried chung kept waiting for his youngie but he didn't come for first stand he the baby prince was mad at his singi very mad he made up his mind that he would not talk to him for one hour straight then he would came to meet him but to his dismay he never came later singi love you the singi will never forget you where did singi go the hung asked his mad while crying clothing the letter to his chest but none none of them had answer they hung cried for days but uh, no ever his youngie never returned yet he kept waiting for him and where that he wait would be this long 16 years long present they hung kept looking at his youngie his body had and so did chunku they didn't know when the prince stood in front of chunku who are you they hung asked the same question oh dear ever chunku showed a confused expression and they hung heart broken it's a shame he was the only one holding those memories close in this heart like the most precious of this world he felt a betrayed state at the face of his bodyguard my prince they hung look at to the person who nana is the best they hung said well i should be on the top of your list if you need my help in showing a jug what he missing she said glaring at her brother with angry filled eyes chonko couldn't hear their conversation but saw her glaring at him as if she was going to murder him was confused at her behavior but then he remembered that his sister is a crack head chenny witnessed the scene in front of her she is aware of the due past she didn't like how her brother had was behaved and felt protective of a little prince wanting to comfort her brother for hurting the prince Namjoon soon at Namjoon meet his little brother my baby brother i have a surprise for you namjoon in from his brother showing his temper the hum looking at him curiously well meet prince minosta namjoon announced soon a handsome man appeared japanese prince nice to meet you again prince the hum said He extended his arm for handshake. The prince smiled, showing his heartbreak. And well, did you become f- so formal with me, me him? The hung asked, smiling and hugging him. Well, I thought meeting you after one year, you would forget about our friendship. Well, I don't forget any relationship this early. The hung said, smiling. His what means? from someone else why don't you to go dance namjoon suggests min nodded and uh, took the hung's hand the hung glared to his bodyguard who the same toxic pressure and pretend from min him to the dance floor and they started dancing chanting and uh, laughing together namjoon watched them loving Well, I can see what you are doing, but why are you doing it? I need that answer to financial minister John Shio. Ask the crown prince. I may be considered marrying the young to Prince Min. Where is Hyungi? The Hyungi asked Sana and Jenny. I don't know where the jug went. Jenny said, "Calm down, Jenny." Sana said. No, no, don't call my hungry a jerk. The prince went like a little kid. I wish he had a brain like you, my prince. Jenny wishes. The hung was roaming around the whole people. 
searching for his yogi he might be mad at him for not remembering him and breaking his promise but he didn't lie when he said they can't stay away from him and he was searching from him everywhere only he is is left he said to himself and made his way towards the elders quarters he reached the door and took a deep breath before knocking hyungi the prince called the elder but no one answered he knocked again but received silence however the door opened the prince for a moment when but then he intensive thoughts born and he entered the room it was a tiny room the bed seat perfectly set no clothes outside indicating how displayed the elder was a small smile on the prince's face he looked around the room and saw the cupboard slightly open he went to close it but in saw he pushed the cupboard and a wooden box dropped down it was leaking out he hung down to collect them but frozen when he saw them they recognized those things all too well become they belong to him his childhood bracelet that he had lost one day and never found again he stopped his proper handkerchief that he had given to champo when he accidentally cut his finger while playing his hand trembled as he held them he know he remembered the hum whispered then he noticed his hair pin that he had lost two days ago his heart beat like never before he picked it up with trembling hands he didn't realize when he had started shedding tears his vision became blurry and then he saw from picture the hung childhood picture he examined the frame and behind it was writing my heartbeat the hung broke down completely sobbing hard as he held those things close to his chest he felt an urgent need to see chongo he felt he would die if he didn't see him the hung ran out of the room after keeping the things in the locker now he knew where chanko must be he ran to the garden near the pond the hung ran and saw chanko sitting near the bank of the pond he slowly approaching him tears down his face and uh, he stood behind him chanko saw his reflection on the water the moon bubbling in the background he looks back immediately only to find the prince puffy eyes red nose scorched cheeks the same pond same moon same tehun crying looking internal as ever when cry chanko stood up instantly why did you cry my prince chanko asked quietly the same question missing him tehungi answered breathing out as new tear stream down his face chanko clap he couldn't let this happen everything was wrong hungi don't you miss me too the hung desperately approaching the older he launched himself at the older chest chanko who body trembled i miss you i miss you i miss you I miss you like hell. Every day I was waiting, waiting and waiting. The hum pouring his heart out while punching his tiny feet on the elder chest. Complaining, Jungkook didn't hug him back. I don't know what you are saying. He stole her hands. Jungkook said, breathing heavily. It's an opportunity. for a royal to touch a commander his royal highness i hope you understood he added for the anger to the chase himself his heart wanted to hold him forever hungi please i beg you stop being like this i have suffered a lot 
please stop this suffering my heart my heart's hurt the prince cried jungkook stood still it's a for you to hug him me his royal highness you are going to marry prince min he will misunderstood i hope we can be professional jungkook said breaking the prince heart stop it stop it what should i do for you to stop behaving like this tell me what should i do should i kill myself or be reborn as a commander so that you all show me your love the home south of chunko grief chief you said you would do marry me of gender then why can't you love me of my estates the home south at again crying i don't remember saying such a things he said in a monotone not meeting the younger size the home couldn't believe the person standing in front of him was clasping him tehang took a deep breath okay then i will marry prince min in front of your eyes tehang announced angrily jungkook's toxic face barely so soft but it vanished tehang would have missed it if he was not looking in the eyes of the elder and uh, you may have forget everything we had but the hung added while approaching the elder caller he grabs his collar drag elder's face towards him and cross his lip into the elder's lips he kiss the elder deeply pouring uh, all his love and uh, younger in into it telling jungkook how much he miss him tears mix in the kiss and wangli jungkook kiss him back and the hung smile thought the kiss the hung pull back a challenge you to forget this the hung felt the garden living a broken jungkook and the hung cried and cried in his room his lover totally denied his feeling he know that jungkook loves him as much as he loved jungkook but he would never accept it he know the difference in their state is deeply rooted in jungkook mind and her also know how to get his man in their right place and get him to accept this feeling and jungkook said he silenced tears in his garden under the moon john jungkook entered the chamber of the beautiful prince aply at 7 am a bit nervous about the event of the past night he found the prince already in his chamber dressed in a pastel color hoodies and crepe jeans his royal highness today you have lunch with the prince a servant informed the prince the prince bodyguard breathed his deep the prince spread a glance at his bodyguard mr jion your hours of duty start at 8 am you don't need to visit this early the prince said calmly seemingly unforced by the event of the previous night when he had brought of his heart out of the man in front of him jungkook heart clenched at the words he may or may not have come early in the morning to catch at the sleeping prince waking him until 7:30 am to buy himself time to admire the prince beauty as your other princess chanku replied and yes you don't have to comply with my orders i am recovering both promise the hung said calmly divine of emotion as he looked straight at his bodyguard jungkook was certain his heart beat felt like it was breaking at those words as you order your honors hannes the hung smiley the hung simply nodded and turned to to pay the mirror i will have breakfast with prince min the hung announced to his maid as he left the chamber it It was the first time the hung walk ahead of his bodyguard in test up beside him. Usually the hung found a way to be near his bodyguard but not today. Good morning your 
royal highness when greeted the pretty princess they sat in a cafe the interpels book of the royal with only the papa presents what will i take for you to be as there with me before the hung said with an ira i guess another did mean love so take me on another one the hung smiled at him and mean pulled out a chair like a gentleman for the hung air and a smile from a pretty prince so what's up with your sister the hung asked always being the cc visit the kingdom of korea next week for a project inform is that so i do i love to meet her after all she is my future sister in law the hung love chanko wish to listening of to their conversation approaching calm unlike his notion the hung i want us to be clear about everything as we are going to marry mean said with serious yes i understood i'll never i answer everything honestly the hung replied with the same seriousness i i wanted to ask you about your previous relationship we why are you so nervous are you going to be my husband you should know these things the hung smiled warmly at him now jungko had been lordly in his tears i've never been in a relationship the hung said mean breathed out in a relief although i care deeply for someone to tell you the truth i love the person jungko felt like fainted upon hearing this but that person was a coward i i promise me i'll learn to love you i'll it might take time but i'll keep trying become because i want to give all the love i have for life partner and i know you deserve it all the hung added now chunk of heart slowly down almost as if it stopped beating and to him tears in his eyes and when then he realized it he tried to distract himself but his thought in with return to the prince words jungkook thoughts was interpreted by the prince voice i i will like you for a long time now the hum mean confused jungkook felt like something settled inside of him